Okay, in this video, I'll show you how to uh, install and deploy the ROYG switch inside the EVENG Pro. You may need some time to uh, load the uh, platform, but uh, definitely, I know I already uh, have this tutorial from the uh, previous uh, Huawei NE40. Definitely, we'll use the same method here. Okay, let's open up the uh, FileZilla. Root and the password is EVE and 422. Let's connect. Okay, what I have here is a uh, bunch of folders. So I created this folder uh, which have all the location. Don't worry, I'll show it to you guys. So definitely you have all the locations here so it's much easier for you and I'll be sharing of this uh, file later in the video which you can download. Okay, hold on a minute. Okay, this is the folder. I have all these files so I'll be sharing you this thing. Now probably we'll start with the uh, transferring of all these files to the system let me pin this quickly okay let's start with the Python so I'll just copy the location then I'll just paste it on the uh, remote side let me boot it up script so I'll just drop this thing Okay. Now let's move to the uh, icon. Copy the location, same thing, paste it, and drop the file. By the way, guys, this is the same thing as well for the. Uh, even G community version. Actually, I have this uh, image ahead of time from the uh, last. I, I believe I downloaded this uh, image way back, like last week ago. Then I use it first with the uh, community version, which works perfectly fine. I don't see any issue. By the way, you need to uh, have the same folder name because it will not work if you're using a different name. It may take a while because this one is a large file around uh, 800 MB. So let's wait for this one to be completed. Great, now it's done. Let's move to the uh, other files. Oh wait, uh, let me just try to see. Huh? I'll do the fixed permission. Oh wait, sorry, sorry, uh, I'll need to uh, copy this YML first. Totally forgot this uh, stuff. Okay, anyway, let's just do it. 
if you have AMD or Intel, you just paste the thing accordingly because mine it automatically detected that I have an, an AMD. So if you have an Intel, just paste the Intel. If you have an AMD, you just paste the AMD file. Now fix the permission. And this one should be completed already. This one is pretty basic for you guys. Let me just copy the uh, host IP address. I'll try to see if this thing will work. Okay. Then admin uh, EV. So I already created the uh, thing. Now node. Uh, you will see here immediately that it's here. And by the way, it should be VNC. I have also a tutorial on how to uh, install VNC for EM EVNC community version. Uh, definitely you need this thing because if you use Telnet, it will not work. Mm -hmm. So I really suggest to use the uh, VNC, okay? By the way, this uh, command line for the switch is uh, similarly with the Cisco command. I'm not sure why it's totally like the same, even configuring the host name and everything. It's totally like enabling, uh, doing configuration, everything is like almost identical. I haven't like seen the whole uh, list of commands, but uh, it's pretty similar with the Cisco one. Now it's booting up. Okay, let's use this uh, enable, the username and the password is here, just type it, then I'll configure the uh, hostname quickly here. No comment. oh sorry, I need to uh, do a config, hostname, that's it.